Hello everybody, my name is Pizza Hunter, Brandon, and yeah, I know, you, you probably hate me, don't you? You knew this day was coming, you knew it was coming for my other ones that I've done. Yeah, I'm sorry. They're all there, look at them. So we have 16, virtually 16 stacks of Lucky Blocks that we're going to be breaking today. So I've done, here's, here's, here's the backstory. Now I've done a 100 lucky block opening. I've done a 250 lucky block opening. I was planning on doing a 500 and a 1000, but looking back at it, I found the 500 and 1000 kind of unnecessary since they both do the same thing. So I thought, why not just do a thousand, close it out the last lucky block opening we really ever do since I'm going to be honest with you guys, like these are cool, but they're not really like they don't hold all that much purpose but they do serve one purpose though to get a lucky villager and that's pretty much the only thing we're gonna be going for first Illuminati pet washing machine I love washing machines you can have a washing machine right there look at it you can wash your clothes can you actually wait a minute wait can you actually wash your clothes wait no hold on a second do you have to have like certain clothes in this I think you have to have certain clothes in this wait well, what wait what Yo, okay, I'm gonna have to figure out how the washing machine works soon, but um, so yeah We'll let him do whatever he was doing so <laughs> basically um, I want to try and get a lucky villager out of these lucky blocks now when it comes to a lucky villager though I need one in specific that is a lucky villager that hopefully spawns in lucky potions because if you guys don't remember i think it was like half the series ago i had a lucky villager that gave me uh lucky potions for like mob bosses and stuff and that was amazing i loved having him now the thing is like when you're fighting bosses you don't really need lucky potions as i've kind of learned however i do really love lucky potions that have haste for example so we are going to try and get that from him and uh in all honesty i guess i'll just meet you guys back when we're at an area where we can break all these and uh, try and break them in under an hour or something. There's a Pac-Man rummaging a village. Hold on a second. I have to take this guy out. Hold on one second. One second. Let me just go ahead and fit into my uh, my suit here. <laughs> we got our... Uh, oh, God. Oh, oh, oh. I dropped it on the ground. You back my helmet. There we go. Green scale helmet. Where are you at, dude? Holy crap. You are just destroying everything, aren't you? You're in the water now. Do you guys drown? I wonder if Pac-Man drowned. Oh, I can fight you on top of the water because I don't fall. All right, let me see what I got from here. I'm just curious. Like, I haven't killed a Patman in a while. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, I guess just meet you guys back out. We're going to break the lucky blocks, and I guess that'll really be it. What did we get from you? We got lamps. Eh. Looks to be the same old, same old. Yep. No, we got we got a door. Oh, what are these? Oh, are these sleeping shoes? Why the heck am I picking this stuff up? Are these sleeping boots? No, they're icy slippers. Freezes nearby... Whoa, I remember these. Hold on a second. This is, um, this is witchery, isn't it? Because it's yellow tagged. I believe these are witchery boots, if I can recall. Uh, let me actually get, uh, like, above on the ground here. I think I can actually walk on water with this. One second. So I put these on. Uh, yo! That is so cool. Okay, obviously we're going too fast for it to actually work. Does this... Damages shoes. Freezes nearby water and turns lava into obsidian. I assume it's the lava into obsidian that actually damages the shoes. That's really cool. Holy crap. Okay, well, we've got our icy boots now. All right, so in advance, I want to apologize for what you guys are about to witness. This is probably going to be the biggest cluster of lucky blocks ever existing in Crazy Craft, at least I would assume. And uh, really, I don't think I'm going to be like picking anything up or even going for like wells and stuff unless I need them. So uh, we'll start at Illuminati Pet. We got Equipment Library. We can go ahead and place you down right here for good luck. Uh, oh. Oh. You do actually cool things. Witches boots? Search. Open folder. That actually opens a physical folder on my computer. What? Okay, I don't know what you do, but I'm actually going to keep you, unless I just broke it. No, I'm going to keep this in my inventory. I don't know what it does, but, uh, all right. 1,000 lucky blocks. We're going to go ahead and start a timer. I'm going to start a physical timer on my computer real fast and see how long this goes for, because I have an insane theory. This is going to take quite a while. So speed breaking, here we go. Three, two, and one. All right. Rows and, okay, this is going to take a while, isn't it? <laughs> all right, so, again... The question is, should I have brought... 
Wow, actually, for not having uh, an AoE damage thing, like, um, what's it called? Wow, it's a lot of Contract Crystals. Okay, Contract Crystals, I think, are going to be the only thing we probably keep. Do these things have an EMC value? They don't, okay. Contract Crystals are probably going to be the only other thing that I keep for right now. Maybe a couple other items that I'm completely forgetting, mainly because Contract Crystals, uh, what is it called? You are... The heck? That thing actually did some mad damage to me. Molinoid. I guess it was- no, you know what? I think it was suffocation damage that did that. I'm not gonna use wells. I'm sorry, like, wells, I love you dudes, but I actually did, like, that zombie or that giant had no armor in him right there. Those aren't potions. We're really just looking for the, uh, what is it called? The lucky villager, because, like, nothing else, I don't think, in a lucky in a lucky block, we really even need. And I think we can make the majority of everything else. We got witches here, uh, WTFs. I've had enough of these things, by the way. Come on, I got pranked with them. Here, let me actually change uh, the inventory slots of these so we can go a bit faster. There we go. Those. Holy hell, the amount of these... Just the amount of items that are going to be on the ground is just going to be mind-boggling. Oh, Lucky Potion. Oh, Counter Killer. Leave me alone, Counter Killer. I need to get that Lucky Potion. I love me some Lucky Potions. Hold on, can I break this? Oh, God. All right, there we go. What does this Lucky Potion have in it? I love Lucky Potions. You have... Absorption 3, Saturation, uh, it's got Jump Boost 3. I kind of be down to drink this right now, considering it doesn't really look like one that's all that useful. Let's get some Jump Boost 3 going in right now. There we go, Jump Boost 3, and that's actually not all that dramatic. Alright, we are not even through half of a stack of these, and we're getting more. We need to hurry ourselves up right now, for sure. We got the cool kids, we got another Wishing Well, we got a Lucky Axe, we got one of these. See, the last time that I did these, oh god, no, Jesus, please! Okay, if I was to get any sort of well, I think the worst one would more than likely be alien just due to the noise that they make. So I'm going to stay the hell away from those guys. Uh, what is it? Oh, please don't give me more. Okay, Contron crystals, I'll take those. I might have a stack of Controns by the time I'm done with this. Gold block, not all that bad. So the last time that I did one of these things, hello Bob's mom, you have armor, don't you? Yes, you do, I'm going to ignore you. The last time that I did one of these, I think it was 250. Fudge sakes, I need to stop breaking these things on top of already dropped items. The last time I did one of these, I had 250, and I found four lucky villagers. Jesus Christ, that keeps scaring me every time I do it, because I'm not expecting it. These things aren't lucky villagers, by the way. They're just normal villagers, which kind of sucks. But, uh, every... Those four lucky villagers all did not carry lucky potions, which really sucked. I think they only carried, like, the lucky armor. Um... <laughs> you're afraid of me, aren't you? Yeah, you really are. Alright, we are nearly out of the... Hold on, I'm gonna break it right there. <laughs> Imagine if that was the lucky villager and he just fell to his death. I would have actually cried. Uh, and we got another caterkiller. A lot of caterkillers, actually. I think we've had three of them so far? Yeah, I think it's three caterkillers so far. Alright, break it through you. We do have a Cephi. Cephis are pretty... They're non-hostile mobs. At least, like, they are hostile. Alright, Luminati Pet. Abyssal Stone Brick Slab confirmed. We are one out of 16th of the way through, and we have another dragon. Two very strange mobs to get in a row right there. King Bob, I don't know if that guy would have really killed me or not, but he did drop a Royal Guardian Sword. Are you mad right now? Are you serious right- are you- are you serious right now? Yo, actually, that's pretty insane. That's actually pretty insane. Bane of Ar Knockback 2 and Fire... Like, it's, it's a decent sword. for Because, see, the thing about King Bobs is that they do drop their armor and stuff. In fact, I actually had a King Bob drop me his... Um, hello, Bob. I had a King Bob drop me his... Uh, what was it? The... That's a Lapis. Uh, that's a Lapis. I had a King Bob drop me a chest plate before, and it was a Royal Guardian chest plate, but the enchants were very different on it. So that's actually really cool. Because, like, you don't really. Oh, I just killed the dragon. I didn't mean to. I'm so sorry, dude. And that one just instantly blew up. Fascinating. Creeper Reds. Oh, no! No! I was just about to pick that up! Five sakes! God damn it! I think I have a Creeper Red somewhere, though, so I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world. Alright, Basilisks. Oh, I hate these things. Please just let me kill you, like, right now. Where's your hitbox? Where's your hitbox? I need to find your hitbox. Is it right there? Where's your hitbox? Where is it? Is he gone? Okay, he's gone now at least. Uh, no, no, and no. We're probably gonna break a lot more than a thousand, mainly because 16 stacks is actually a little bit over a thousand lucky blocks. Don't worry, I did the math on it. We're doing fine. And, uh, let me tell you, I am more so- Ooh, hammerheads. These guys hurt hard. 
I'm more so looking into like never doing these guys again because lucky blocks are cool But if I don't get the lucky villager that I need from 1,000 of these guys, I think I'm done Like I think that's where I'll say yeah, no, I'm done opening these guys pretty much forever We got one of these guys the Leo dudes I will tell you one thing killing off all these lucky blocks is a good way to get all your morphs back considering I did lose a majority of my morphs Ooh. I do love music discs, though. I like things that are, like, irreplaceable. We have Maul, uh, we already have Blocks, and Strad. Okay. We don't really need to, like, clear out our inventory or anything, because we're not really focused on picking up too many items. You are lagging? I assume that's lag right there. Actually, no. It's not lag. The thing is, as well... See, that can happen. This is about to happen. Wait for it. Yep. Okay. So, that happens... What I need to remember is to remain calm when that sort of thing does happen. Because we are wearing queen scale armor. Like, we're wearing queen scale armor right now. So if we spawn a queen or a king... Alright, attempt number one! <sighs> Every time, man. Every time. Like, they, and by the way, for those curious, no, if you trade them, they do not give you better trades. And this time we're going to get a king. So this one we're just going to run away for, since really we don't have any other option. Uh, I could fight you right now, good sir king. you just like leave me alone please are you just gonna follow me is this thing just gonna infinitely follow me or do i have to run away completely i think i'm good now all right i think i'm good now so we have no maybe oh there's a lucky see that little pillar in the back there that thing there's a lucky block in there that's funny phone's going off my apologies so we've spawned in one queen and one king already in just a little bit over a stack and a half actually it's Kind of bad odds, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, that one didn't break anything. Nope, they're just lagging. Okay, actually getting a little bit of lag. Really hope it's not the king and the queen spawning in all that lag, because I know there's other people on the server right now. We got Nade and Mitch. I don't know if Nade's doing anything, but I know Mitch is, so I would really like to not lag out the server for him. <laughs> anyway. Alright, I think what I might do is just to keep ourselves going for a little bit longer of a time here. Ooh, that's 1.1 minutes. Oh, a lot of good food right there. I don't really need it, though, considering I can do... Oh, Lucky Villager! Ah, oh, for sakes, man! I don't even recall, like, what good Lucky Villagers offer in for their first trade. That's a Ruby block, and you are a Uranium block. Man, if I needed either of those, I'd be in heaven right now. And you're lagging a little bit still? Is that a lag? That might have been a lag spike, it looks like. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, it's a lag spike right now. Actually, look at that right there! Four lucky blocks, I think, in total have spawned in ruby, titanium, and uranium. That's actually some pretty good luck right there. And we definitely do seem to be lagging the server a little bit here. I don't know if it's like... Hmm. I don't know strictly what's causing the lag, but hold on. Let's go ahead and use our Illuminati pet real fast, see what we get out of you. And we're gonna get... Oh, no. Wait a minute, what? Time remaining 0 0.1 minutes. Time remaining 1.3 minutes. Wait, what? Okay, sure. Our Illuminati pet seems to be kind of working up a little bit here. Oh, we got some... Okay. That's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. We have... I don't know. I think this is actually pretty bad luck. Two lucky... Or, what is it? Two stacks of lucky blocks, pretty much. One above. And we spawned two kings and three queens. Or, no, two kings, three, three queens? No, that's total. Two kings, one queen, three in total. That's pretty bad odds, actually. Uh, if we were a lot weaker right now, I could see us doing this thousand lucky block opening being a very bad idea. Alright, got another well over here. You can't really get any good things out of wells, which is why I'm not really focused on breaking them right now. Uh, we definitely are lagging the server. I might need to give it a hard restop, so I might have to tell the guys, like, hey. Because I don't think Nade's doing anything. I think it's only Mitch, and we got our dragon going in on those mantis for us. Alright, come on, let's just keep breaking these things faster. We got ourselves a mushroom, chest plate. Really, like, I just hate the fact that I have to kill off the mobs. Because uh, I'd rather not have to deal with any mobs whatsoever. Like, these guys, come on. You're marking up my time, man. Although, I guess I didn't expect to finish too soon on this. Alright, we got a cake. Uh, nothing from here. I can already tell you right now, there are going to be so many why didn't you take the beacon from the well comments. Let me tell you, my name is Patbot, and welcome back to another mod showcase. We got a lucky cow. Do you trade me? Do you trade me, you son of a bitch? Oh, my lord. I've actually gotten a few comments as well. I don't know why, but, like, every here and there, I guess because of, like, the people I record with, every here and there, like, when I curse on this channel, and you guys normally won't catch me, like, saying anything worse than, like, you know, son of a bitch or shit or every here and there. 
Because I've, I've mentioned this before, when I'm playing Minecraft, I don't really... Like, I could curse a ton, you know, like, throw out the F word every here and there, but, like, I don't really have a reason to. It's a freaking Minecraft game. Why do you need to say the F word 50,000 50, times over again? But, like, I get comments every here and there, like, Pete, you curse, dude. What the heck was that? Like, you know, that sort of thing, and I'm like, hey, welcome to the channel. <laughs> like, I do curse on this channel. Yes, I am PG-13. Oh! Oh! Yeah! Mm! Oh! Oh my gosh. Okay. Finally. Finally. Is this a good one, though? Absorption, health boost, night vision, invisibility, water breathing, regeneration. It's okay. It doesn't have haste. How do I... Oh, man. You are mine. You're my lucky villager. I need, what I need to do right now is I need to trap you. And thankfully, I have Obsidian right here. I basically just need to trap this guy in and come back for him later and transport him all the way to my house. I am so happy right now. We finally freaking got what we've been asking for for so way too long. Way too long. It's just, oh man. Can you guys even understand my happiness right now? I don't think you can. So what this means right now is... We pretty much need to move very, very far away from here to break the remainder of our lucky blocks. We are Illumini pet ready. I don't know what I'm doing right there. Just kind of caging him in. Let's keep our coordinates. We found a lucky villager. Oh, what about the negative potion effect? Hold on a second. Wither 3, poison, hunger 4. Even that one, like, Wither 3... Uh, uh, I don't know, like... What I'm just looking at right now is this lucky potion is not the best. Mainly because I'm looking for, like, health boost five or like three or four and haste because what i want to do is more than likely oh hello you're gonna be uh nope i'm not doing it nope that is a moderate one and if for whatever reason i spawned something that might have killed that lucky villager i would cry myself to sleep tonight not doing it not doing it but uh what i'm probably gonna do is wind up using those lucky villagers for like building around my house and having haste potions would be fantastic if my beacon doesn't like reach within range just to be able to like break through a certain uh what is it? Like, you know, giant areas so I can create things like, what is it called? The, um, Pac-Man Grinder, stuff like that. Like, those giant areas that take years to break through. That kind of stuff. And that's freaking awesome. Because I think, if I recall, for some reason... Don't even tell me. Okay. <laughs> You're not a good lucky villager. So, hold on. What did that guy... I didn't even take a look at what that lucky villager had to offer initially there. We got a lucky pig. Why are we getting a lot of lucky mobs now? Another lucky villager. Oh. We've gotten three lucky villagers in the span of, like, six lucky blocks. And we now... And now we got a lucky potion. Can this get even luckier? Haste? No. When we get strength four, invisibility, absorption three, water breathing, jump boost. We're just gonna go ahead and drink this off right now. Like, we don't really need these ones. What did that give us? Absorption, invisibility, sure, why not? <laughs> Alright, we need to go a bit faster with this for sure, though. Alright, just keep breaking them. Uh, oh my days. Yeah, you're still a bad one. Like, what is with the amount of lucky villagers I'm getting? That is absurd. I broke through 250 of these blocks, and I... Oh, oh my days. Do you have haste? 520% attack damage, strength 4. Actually, this one might be one we want to keep. Stre strength 4 is not something you see very commonly. At least, I don't think so. That's a pretty insane one for sure, and I think I actually might need to give the server a hard restart soon. <laughs> this is really bad. A lot of obsidian, though. Actually, I could use the obsidian to cage in any lucky villagers that I find in the future, so we've got 28 at the moment. We're nearly three stacks into this. Holy hell. Like, if you guys were expecting... Oh, no, it's a well. Okay, we're lagging quite a ton here. I think... Oh, I think I might have to give the server a hard restart here. Yep. I think I might have to. Let me go ahead and uh, break through this lucky box and I'll catch you guys back in just a second. Oh, we got an unlucky potion. Ah, uh -uh. Minus one attack damage. Ah, that's cute. I'll tell you, it's a pretty heartbreaking time when you break through a stack of lucky blocks and you weren't actually recording pretty much anything. At least I don't think so from what it seemed. So uh, a little bit of a recap of what we got. Pretty much nothing and we spawned in another queen. I don't know if I captured it on footage, but I did actually spawn in about five lucky villagers in the span of one stack of blocks, and it was madness. Like, at, 
lucky chicken. It was just absolutely crazy. None of them gave any uh, potions, though, unfortunately, which kind of sucks, but, I mean, we still have one, which, in hindsight, is better than none. You know, you think about it like that, and we're getting a little bit of lag still. The lag has not gone away, by the way. Like, it's still here. It's still abundant. Although, I've seen... What seems to be the giant meta right now is breaking lucky blocks. One's lucky, one's not. There we go. I think I found the lucky and unlucky one. Seems to be breaking lucky blocks in terrain that's already been generated. We have an unlucky squid. Uh, and he drops tentacles and stuff. That just took out a lot of area right there. Uh, we've got some of these. Got another giant. I hate having to, like, kill my... Wow. I should have actually seen what the hat looks like on that giant right there. That would have been cool. Oh, another lucky villager. Okay. What do we got from you, dude? Nothing good. This seems to be like a talk of the century. If lucky villagers give, it's either armor or it's the lucky tools. It's either lucky armor or lucky tools. Neither of them are the good ones. I forgot again, like, which one is the good one. Alright, can we go ahead and just break this, like, really quickly here? Or is this going to take a little while? I think this is going to take a little while, actually, from what it's looking like. Uh, do I have a portal gun on me? Actually, I'm not going to be able to get out of here with a portal gun, so let's just hope we can break this soon. Come on. There we go. Okay, get back out here. So we are just a little bit, actually, we're a little bit further than a fourth of the way done through this, which is kind of unreal. What I'm probably going to wind up doing is, like, breaking apart this recording. Got another King Bob. Drop me some Royal Guardian armor. Oh, we got some Royal Guardian boots. Not bad. Spawn the Prince right uh, away. So this one, like, these have weird enchants. That's the thing about Royal Guardian armor drop from these guys. They have weird enchants, but it is still Royal Guardian armor. And aside from... Oh, God. Here we go. Aside from defeating the bosses, there's really no other way of... Or aside from defeating the tier dungeons, there's no other way of getting Royal Guardian uh, gear. At least to my knowledge. This is a queen... There shouldn't be anything that would piss off the queen, but I'd rather not stick around in case there was. Nah, she's calm. Okay. This queen's calm. She's relaxing. I don't think there's... I'm actually curious. Like, I think the mobs have to physically attack her for her to be pissed off. And unless we spawn in, like, this giant slime, for example. That could have actually really pissed her off easily. And we just threw the slime pretty much straight toward her. I don't know if that's trying to, like, tell her, you know, hey, take a little bit of a hit, ma'am. You know, give us some slime. I don't know even, even know what I'm saying right now. Probably, definitely, though, should not be doing these around in there. And this bird is definitely feeling the lag right now. <laughs> I don't know if that's a queen. Oh, you know why? It's because I'm generating new chunks. I need to remember to not do that. Stay inside pre-gen areas, and then everything will be A-OK. -okay, except for the fact that you get TNT. So I think I'm going to go ahead and phase forward a little bit. I somehow got a morph there. The queen's still here, which is not a good... I wouldn't say that fighting her right now is a good idea. Like, I, I've told you guys right now, I'm going to fight the king in episode 100. I'm going to fight the queen, probably for my season finale, or sooner. But uh, the king is definitely for 100. I'd just rather not piss her off and have to deal with, like, you know, an angry queen. Because I'd rather just get these lucky blocks done. Well, I think I'm going to do is go ahead and break all of these, or break a lot of them, rather. And uh, I'll catch you guys... She's gracing the land. It's beautiful. That's the Cephedro, I think, attacking me right there? That's the thing I love about the queen, though, is, like, while she, like, flies over areas, she puts out a bunch of the crystal flowers. Why is it raining dark right now? I don't like this. Hold on. I'm gonna toggle downfall. Toggle downfall and time set day. Just, you know, to not have to deal with it. And I don't know where the queen went. She's just kind of rummaging the area right now. All I know is the queen is beautiful and... Uh, not a good lucky villager. Oh, God, she's pissed for some reason. Why is she pissed? This is about to hurt. Oh, God. The thing is, like, I'm not scared of her. You know what I mean? I just, like, I don't want to have to deal with her. Mainly because, you know, she is a lot faster and a lot stronger than the king. But it's like, you know, why do I have to fight you right now? I don't have to fight you. And I am out of... Come on. Come on. Leave me alone. All right. I think we're good. Illuminati pet. We got crafting table confirmed. That will craft all your hopes and dreams. Let's go ahead. And, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get back into pre-generated chunks. And uh, I'm going to break through a lot of the lucky blocks. And I'll pretty much just cut in if we get anything useful. All righty. One full stack of lucky blocks. Didn't really get anything. The only thing that I really got was uh, a few more heads, which I guess are good. All righty. Another full stack of lucky blocks. We're down to this many. So, I mean, we still got nine stacks out of 16, I think. And I believe right now, if I need to restart the server, I'm in the clear. Because Nade, I'm pretty sure, is AFK. We did manage to spawn two kings and one lucky block stack, though. Which was not the most desirable thing. 
We're not really having the best luck with that, but I mean, hey, you know, it's better than a breadstick. And uh, we did just get one of these, though. I'm kind of tempted to spawn in a prince and a princess right now, but I've heard, like, I've seen... I don't, they're not really necessary all that much. Like, they're kind of obnoxious almost. And thankfully, I was able to get a few more emeralds because I did just remember I completely lost my, uh, I threw out my emerald nuggets. So let's go ahead and run up again our Illumini pet, and it's still on cooldown. I can confirm it's not. Maybe it's because I didn't have it eaten anything or it wasn't, like, fed? Not actually sure how the cooldown works on that, but it seems to be borked just a little bit. I'll tell you, these lucky blocks are seriously pulling my heartstrings right now. We just did an entire stack again, and we got three, no, four lucky villagers, all of them not good ones. Really, really sucks. I think it might be the fact that I'm not recording. Let's go ahead and use our, okay, Illumini pet of everything you could. Give me a sword pedestal is the one thing I do not need more of. I think I'm actually going to go ahead and open these lucky blocks on camera, mainly because I think doing them on camera is like almost a good luck point right now. Exi aside from the fact that we get probably the worst chest in existence on the start of it. I could actually take a lot of those uh, potion ingredients, though. And, uh, what is it? Oh, God. Hello, Magma Cube. Giant Magma Cube that has 500 HP. It's for some reason not taking any damage. And you're giving me the music that's 13. Okay, that was a lucky one, I suppose. Uh, I've seen, like, from what I'm noticing right now, doing it on recording seems to be the good luck charm. Mainly because I've gotten one lucky villager on recording and none off recording. So I'm gonna assume it's like, you know, recording is lucky. Uh, nothing there except the queen. This might actually get angered by the... Please don't get angered. Please don't get angered. Are you angry because of that? I think it actually has to do with if I swing at it for some reason. This magma cube does not take any damage at all. Strange. Why do you not take damage? That's actually really weird. I guess the armor, like, is completely, like, way too high up. I could actually try it. No, the Queen Scale Battle Axe wouldn't work either. Okay, well, we have uh, pretty much just non... You can't kill that thing, no matter what you do. And I was able to phase out of that one. Perfect. All right, let's kill you. Every time I see it not drop something, I'm like, oh, God, please don't be a king. We got another lucky block from there. I'm definitely going to be opening up more than a thousand lucky blocks by the end of this, just because of the few that it gives off from, like, uh, what's it called? The pyramids and stuff. Alright, a lot more mantises, or manatees, as Rob calls them. Alright. I wish it was just, like, an easier way to exterminate those guys, man. They're definitely, like, they're just not the easiest things to get rid of. Alright, well, they're better than aliens, I'll tell you that. They're actually... Those guys aren't that bad. It's the stacks of them that really are... Sorry, did that dude just make a frog noise when I hit punched him? That bomb just made a frog noise? See, these guys... I'm not the biggest fan of these guys, even though they're kind of the same thing. I'm not sure, like, they're the same, but I, I don't know. I, I don't like bees more. I, like, I don't like them. I remember, actually, what was it? When I first started Crazy Craft, oh man, I think I had died to a bee a few times and lost all my items. Yeah, that was my second episode of Crazy Craft. Oh, no. Oh no, we got the mob, we got the hordes, and how long am I going to have blindness for? We got 20 seconds of blindness in this. This actually looks really cool, like the night sky. Oh wow, this looks beautiful right now. A lot of zombies I don't really even have to worry about, but like, I don't know man, I just kind of want to enjoy the sky. Uh, let's go ahead and break some of these guys down. We got some triffids, lucky leaves, whatever you want to call them. Uh, we got another one of these guys. Oh, this might actually be kind of terrifying. That was definitely terrifying. You could not see those for the life of you. And it did turn nighttime as well, so I'm going to turn it to uh, daytime just because I kind of don't like doing these during the nighttime. And I probably shouldn't be doing these next to a village where all these villagers can get destroyed. Especially in areas that I don't think I've raided. Like, what's in this chest right here? Ah, uh, steel pickaxe. Another contron crystal. Not really anything all that good. Like, we got some, uh, what's it called? The... Uh, crowbars and stuff. I think doing these uh, lucky block openings inside of this area is like one of the worst things I could probably do to this village. So poor village, just what you get for not giving me any good lucky villagers. Sorry about your village, bro. <laughs> I actually didn't mean for that to happen, but I for- Oh, come on. Village luck! Yes! What do we get? Absorption 4. Oh, no. Okay. What do we get from this? Resistance 3. Hold on, let's read from the top. So, Resistance 3 is good. Really, it's just the Absorption 4. But I guess that's still okay. 
That's another lucky vill- Hey, you know what? That's another lucky villager that has, uh, what's it called? The, uh, potions. So, I mean, I'm, I'm content with that. Let's go ahead and cage you up, dude, as soon as you want to stop walking around for a little bit. I know you're conversing with your- Oh, he's conversing with his friends. You know, I'm actually so happy that I was able to trap a lucky villager inside of, like, his home. You know what I mean? So now he can be trapped here, and he'll have everything he needs. So there are the coordinates of the second lucky villager. This potion, I think- I don't know if it's better than the other one or not, because actually, I can't remember offhand what the other one was. But hey, two lucky villagers. Oh, I need to not open these near him. Never mind. I need to run as far away from po as possible. I think we're going to run... Is this the trail that I have going all the way to... No, okay, it's a different trail. The other one to the right there was the trail I have going to my vacation spot. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with my vacation spot either, but... All right, creeper head. We can take those. Uh, toss away the fancy lamps. I'm just happy, you know what I mean? We got two lucky villagers that give potions. The thing is, like, we gotta focus on bringing those guys back home now. Like, putting them inside of our base. Which I guess will just be done with portals. Thinking about it. We just need to figure out a way to get them through the portal without them, like, suffocating or anything. That's gonna be the tricky part. Because I know when I go through a portal, and I'm a player, I suffocate and take damage. Because I fall into the ground. I'll have to figure out a way... Ooh, hello. What music is for you? You are, uh, not gonna let me see? Can I see? We're gonna throw away blocks far have you ever decided to go far as to look more alike and even do stuff with and you have what kind of oh okay let's actually just get a bunch of these music discs for right now uh gas tears spider eyes 11 that's a cool music disc to have uh far we can throw away stripe throw away mall jukebox and chirp we've actually got a lot of cds now we could have like a full dj booth set up in this too and you know what there are some really sick blocks in this mod pack to turn you into like a dj booth like the uh future of blocks Future blocks are my favorite, personally. I think we have both of these, except for... Do we have Maul? Do we have Maul? Uh, yeah, we already have... We have three Mauls. Oh, wow, okay. So we've got a lot of music discs. They don't seem to be giving off, like, new ones, but I don't know what the chances are of that, so... I guess it's kind of common that we'll get one of everyone. Eventually, at least. We've got a lot of these nether portals, though. Or end portals. I don't need those, considering I already have enough to make them... Wow, we're actually getting a lot of end portals. Jesus, dude. Okay, we're just breaking up. This was nice. Oh, it was nice. It was nice until you came into the party. Freaking cobwebs everywhere. I hate this guy. I would love him so much if he didn't throw down cobwebs every time I killed him. Alright. See if we can get out of these. Lucky sheep. It does definitely seem to be the case. When you record the lucky block openings, you're bound to get luckier stuff. And I think... I think that's just like a proven fact. You know, doesn't have anything to do with luck or anything like that. Alright, let's break more of these guys. I'm probably going to take a cut after this one just to keep going. Because, uh, you know, I don't need this recording to be like five hours long. So, we'll break open a few of these. See if I can get another lucky villager without uh, doing the recording. Like, without recording it. But I think we've got some good luck up our sleeves. I think, what is it? We're halfway through and we've gotten two lucky villagers that have that. So, it's one for every 250. Meaning, we should, with the luck that we're getting right now have two more lucky villagers that spawn potions. Sweet. Alright, and I actually need to try and kill off these uh, dogs that are near me. Like, I love them, but they're actually incredibly obnoxious, and I can't kill them with my sword. Oh, another lucky villager! Oh! Okay, you're not a good one. I was gonna, like, cry if he was a good one. Holy hell. That's, like, a little bit too common to be comfortable. Uh, not- Nope, nope. Running away. Running away. Running away. Leaving you guys alone. I'm not killing these dudes. Please tell me my dogs aren't following me. Are my dogs following me? Please tell me they're not. Aliens, kill my dogs. I think I, that sounds like a weird, like, 60s sci-fi horror flick. Aliens killed my dogs! Honey, I shrunk the kids! It's like a sequel to that movie. Oh, God. All right, let's go ahead and break these last six here, and I'll take a cut real fast and uh, see exactly what we can get out of the rest of these. So, this, I think, is kind of funny. One is lucky, one is not. I broke one, and it gave me a bunch of flowers. I broke another, and it gave me an amethyst axe. What the heck? Which one is not lucky? Which of these is not considered lucky? Like, you have flowers, and then you have a pretty damn decent axe. What the frick are you on? So I've gone through a few more lucky blocks, and as you can see in the back there, we just spawned another queen. Uh, I actually... Thinking about it, with a thousand lucky blocks so far, I actually haven't spawned as many kings and queens as I thought I would have. I was actually expecting probably a little bit more, and I'm kind of upset at myself that I just kind of killed a Sephir Dome out of instinct right there. I don't know why, but like any mobs right now, I kind of just see and instantly want to kill. Oh god. Alright. This is going to be fun.
All right, so as a total, we've got currently a little bit more than four stacks of Lucky Blocks left, which is about 250, so we've gone through more than three-fourths of the way there, or actually just a little bit under three-fourths of the way there, which is pretty freaking good, actually, I'd say. Uh, we do have a lot of haste, because I did actually just drink a Lucky Potion not too long ago, and did we seriously just get another one of these in a row? I think this is a creeper one, but none of the creepers are actually going to wind up attacking. No, it seems to be all sorts of mobs, including zombies. But it does seem to be a lot of creepers that won't actually attack me, so that's sick. Let's go ahead and use our Illumina iPads while we'll see what we get from you. Sandstone. Whoa! Why are you looking so weird today, Sandstone? Hold on, do I, can I place you down and like... Whoa. Why is this Sandstone so weird? What the heck? 573. That is... Okay, if I know my Minecraft correctly, that is not the number code for sandstone, like the actual sandstone block. So that's a little bit strange. Not sure what that block is or what it's used for or why it's even in the game, but I guess we've got a glitch block now, which I guess is kind of cool. You know what we could do, actually? We could uh, put those glitch blocks down at, like, oh, you know what we could do? We could, f like, oh, I'm thinking of a prank idea right now. What if we put a prank on, like, uh, Rob, for example, and put a bunch of, oh, God, worms, worms. Oh god, don't let them destroy anything or take anything of me. Uh, what we can do is put down a bunch of those at um, Rob's house and put it as like the, the Iron Golem spawner raid or something like that. And be like, yo dude, you got a lot of IGs, you should break them all. Just because, I don't know if you guys know, but I'm sure the majority of you do. If you break a spawner in factions, uh, typically it would just with like any server with custom spawners. Uh, it'll give this effect, or the uh, that like purple and black little, oh, Wither. What's up, Wither? It'll give a purple and black effect, so that can be like, uh, yo, dude, you got all your stuff, don't you? Uh, you dropped nether stars, though. Someone actually did tell me, if you guys watched last episode, which was the, uh, the Steve prank, you guys mentioned that there is actually a- I didn't think about this, I completely forgot, because it had been so long ago. It's just said a normal thing in general. There is actually- hold on, let me time that day. There is actually a mob that drops name tags- Pretty much religiously, so we could do like a full uh, person prank, which I think I might actually do. I need to remember, I think you guys wrote it in the comments, but I need to remember which... Oh, we could actually stay in here. Never mind. I shouldn't have broken... I should not have broken those blocks during this time right now. But um, I definitely need to try and figure out what mob that is, so I can go back and try and get a bunch of name tags. Because if we can get like, you know, a million this person in the server... Uh, with the mannequins or whatever and put those all around their house I think that'll line up for a lot better of a prank and Mitch also did like our prank for sure uh, I don't think he cleaned up all the mannequins just yet there. You, yeah, there you go We got two name tags right off the bat here. I don't think he's um, cleaned up all the mannequins quite yet But I do know he found it pretty hilarious. So that was kind of cool to see. I'm hoping he gets us back soon though I don't know what he'll be doing, but Hopefully, he'll be pranking us soon. I don't know, just like, I love pranks. It's just, it, like, I'm not trying to beg for it or anything like that, but, like, I just love when people come around and prank, and I know, like, I don't know. I don't know anyone else on the server who would, like, have a reason to prank me. Not sure, actually. So, we're nearly done with, uh, we're actually, we still got a ways to go. We got these freaking dogs on us. Can we just kill them with our pickaxe? Is there any way we can kill you freaking dogs? Okay. I'm so sorry, wolves. Like, you're cool and all, but I have to destroy you. Just because, like, uh, you're so obnoxious to run around me. Like, I love you guys, but I'm trying to break blocks and you're just not letting me do that. I'm so sorry. I'm actually so sorry. Dogs, I know. I know. Don't let my dog ever see this ple video, please. Don't tell him he watches my YouTube channel. Oh, God. Alright, well, that kind of actually really hurt to do. But, eh, they were obnoxious, so watch me just get dogs, like, instantly after right now. These could be considered dogs. <laughs> Man, I need to, like, every time I break Lucky Blocks and I drop an item, I thought that was the queen. That was not the queen. I got scared for a second. Well, not scared, but, like, I got cut. Oh, no! Oh, please don't tell me you're a lucky one. No, please don't tell me. No, Lucky Villager. No, Lucky Villager. Oh, God. Just break the lava. Break the lava. Come on. Oh, no. Is he a lucky one? <gasps> no! 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 Lucky Villager! There's no way to save you! Wait! No portal! Oh, I can't! I can't!
Like, I, I thought to myself, what if while breaking these while going up, I spawn in a lucky villager? And he falls to his death. Wouldn't that suck? And then, I could have picked him up. I could have picked him up by my portal gun. I know, I, I you don't think of these things. I could have picked him up by my portal gun. I could have, I tried using my portal gun with G, but I don't even think, uh, I should have picked him up by my portal gun. I didn't know. I didn't know what to do. I didn't. That really sucks. I didn't even see what he had, but I knew he had haste. It was only haste one though. I think I would have needed haste two or more to actually like really be effective, but Breaks my heart, man. I didn't think it would happen. I didn't think I'd see the day where I did that to my good old friend. I feel really... You know what? I deserve it. I deserve it. King, take me away to a secret place. A great escape so I can escape my sorrow. Shoot me! Come on, you bastard! I'm so sad right now. Like, actually. That's really depressing. Like, I'll get... Ugh, I'm over it, but like, ugh. Like, I know I found two so far, but... Oh, come on! That was my guy, I think. I don't actually know how good that potion was. I'm gonna look back at the recording and, like, see. I think I'm kicking myself. Because I'll, I'll get technical with you guys for a second. The reason why I wanted a haste 2 or higher is because with this pickaxe and haste 1, you don't go through, um, what is it, andesite and granite and all that faster than normal. If you have haste 2 or higher, you can bleed through any block, and it's amazing. Otherwise, with haste 1... Yeah, you know what, Queen? Yeah, I deserve it. Otherwise, with Haste 1, it's kind of like, it's just really obnoxious and just, eh, I don't know. We got the Coven Witches over here, by the way. I'm gonna need to come here back to one of these locations once I get my Witchery status up, which is gonna be soon, I think. I just gotta get, like, motivation to learn stuff about the Witchery mod, because, like, that mod is pretty obnoxious. And now we got some dogs around here. You know what? Let's just go ahead and get the rest of these blocks broken. We got three more blocks to go. Three more sacks of blocks, I should say. I'm just gonna try speedrunning these guys. Like, that's what I've been trying to do, but, like, every time I try speedrunning them, I have to, like, run away from the other. And then this happens, and you just have no hope. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, the day happened. The day happened again. It happened again. It happened again. And you know what happened again? Wait, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Why is he running? No, 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 don't run away. No, the zombies are not gonna kill you. I will not let the zombies kill you. Guys, ladies and gentlemen, I found another lucky villager. I found another lucky villager, and I have not seen the potion yet. I know he's a potion one. I know that much, at least. I found, like, four other lucky villagers, and they haven't been potions. Haste 2! Yes! And what do we have as well? Health boost. Instant health. This is amazing. We have Haste 2 for seven minutes. Okay. You are my dream. Thank you for existing. You make me so happy. You are my senpai. You are my true 5SOS dream. I love, I love it. <laughs> okay, so we have another lucky villager with haste to, I'm happy, okay? I'm happy. That you, you heard it from my words, you heard it from my mouth. I'm happy. I'm content with this lucky block opening because I'm more than certain haste to does bleed through or rip through, uh, you know, granite and all that kind of stuff really, really fast. Oh, man. It's just a happy day. You know what I'm talking about? We had that bad little thing happen with that one lucky villager. He'll be remembered as lucky number three. You know what? Third time's a charm, and that's obviously not, you know, the best thing in the world to say right now, but... <laughs> Why do you have cat noises? Why do you guys have cat noises? Like, ocelot noises. That's so funny. So I'm pretty pleased. So we need to try and figure out... I guess I'll do it... I don't know if I'll do it off camera. I'll probably do it in an episode. I guess... Well, actually, no. For something as tedious as this, I'll probably have to do it off camera. Trying to get them into my house, but I'll need to create, like, I need to actually get a lucky, um, like, lucky villager room set up for them. Because the reason the other one died was because he was just chilling off, he was just chilling in, like, um, an unfinished, what you call it, an unfinished, um, like, hallway. I never actually gave him his own room, and a zombie somehow jumped down from, like, outside of the world, or outside of my house, and killed him. Off camera. And I was so heartbroken, and it pissed me off, and I was like, there's no way I just lost that beautiful lucky villager. But now I've got three, and you know what's kind of funny? If we go through the rest of this opening without getting another one, 
It's fun. Like, the average is like one for every 333, at least. Oh, we got a little mini Bob. One lucky villager with potions for every 333 lucky blocks so far. If we get a fourth one. Oh, no. I think it's, uh, I can't remember. It's the one that offers the bow. Like the, oh god, put two in a row. It's the one that offers the bow. In fact, you know what? If I was going, if we didn't have ultimate bows in this, oh, well, that just completely got rid of everything right now. Uh, if we didn't have ultimate bows in this, um, mod pack, those lucky bows would probably be something to, uh, fixate over. Although we do have a skate string bows. Oh, you know what? I need to get working on, uh, learning the EMC for skate string. I don't even know if that has an EMC value, though. It may, it may not. It'd be kind of cool if it did, though. Anyway, so we've got less than two stacks to go. Let's just go ahead and rip these apart, in all honesty. Trying to get through them as fast as we possibly can. Although, again, I'll say, I've been trying to do that every single time, and now we got these freaking guys. I hate these dudes so much. I can't kill them, that's the thing. Like, you can't kill them because of the noise that they make when you kill them. It's like, it would make your guys' ears bleed, and I do not want to have to edit that right now. And we got another one of you. You are Melhoy. I don't know how to pronounce that, so I'm probably, like, butchering the name. I apologize. That guy, that bat had a little creeper head on him. I don't know if you guys saw it. He was just flying around the little creeper head. I might have killed him, though. Oh, man. All right, you know what? It's a good lucky ball. It's a good day. It's, it's a beautiful day. And, uh, you know, it's kind of funny. When I had talked about doing this lucky block opening, I was like, yeah, you know, there's not really going to be anything good coming from these. You know what I mean? Like, it's lucky blocks. You kind of don't really need anything in lucky blocks once you get to a certain point of crazy. Like, right, right now, I have unlimited energy and equivalent exchange. That's like, you don't need anything else in the world aside from that, pretty much. So, to do lucky blocks, it's like, you don't really, it's not necessary to a full extent. Come on, yeah, zap me. Zap me as far as you can right now. Yeah, I know, you love it. You love hitting me. You love it so much. Come on, you stupid king. Come on, fight me more. Now you're gonna run away? I'm gonna run away. I'm running away. He's not running away. Um, what is it? You don't think that you need anything. Oh! oh what do you have? Health boost for- Oh! Ha 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 Strength four, jump boost four, health boost four. You are a damn good lucky vi- No. I did not mean to do that, but I can still touch it. Hold on. You are a damn good lucky villager. Has anyone ever told you that? Has your mother told you how proud she is of you? This is another really good one right there. With that health boost, oh my days. How much does it cost? 10 diamonds, actually. That's not all that bad. So we've got a fourth lucky villager now that we can go ahead and bring back. So we're going to have to bring back four, which means... We're definitely going to need a room for these guys, I'd say. We can put, like, each of them in their own little corner, or, like, each of them in their own little uh, container against the wall. Pretty much just making sure that they never, ever, ever get killed, and if they ever get killed for any reason whatsoever, be death to my soul. I tell you this right now, I will be way too angry. And you guys will probably see another thousand lucky block opening. Thousand, I'll have the little thumbnail say thousand point two or something. I don't even know, but... Hey, you know what? That you know what that means? We found four of them in less than a thousand, which means the average seems to be for right now one out of every 250. Which means I guess the 250 lucky block opening that we did, we must have just gotten unlucky because we did one of those and we didn't get a single one of these guys, at least the good ones. I think we found what was it? Four lucky villagers in total, but none of them offered potions. It's actually really good luck for right now. We're doing a lot better. All right, uh, nothing out of that one. A little bit of lag, maybe? No, I'm not sure actually what that item was that it dropped. We don't really, like, that's the thing. We don't really need items aside from, like, uh, the skeleton heads, or, like, the head skulls. Those are, like, the only items we really need. And we're nearly done with this, too, by the way, guys. I'm so proud of myself. I wish those villagers on top there were lucky ones, but they're not, unfortunately. I'm sure I'm probably, oh, come on. Ugh, imagine, imagine. I can't even, like, I, I literally, I can't right now. All right. We still got a stack left of these, though. So, I mean, there is a possibility of another one coming through. God, I hate that noise. Bloody hell, it's more obnoxious. Well, actually, that and the alien noise. No, the alien noise wins, but I think that is definitely, like, it's up there in terms of obnoxiousness. All right, our final stack of lucky blocks. What you guys see in our inventory is the final remaining bit we have of this giant excursion. I'm really happy. I like, I'm sorry, but I'm just like, I'm really happy right now. 60, 50, or no, 57. Do not open that. I do not need to open wells right now. That would ruin my day. All right. 53, 52. Do not open the well. Thank God. 
I hate it when those items ex the item drops accidentally open the wells. We got some ocelots that are trailing us right now. Ocelots aren't annoying as dogs. I'll give them that. Although I think, yeah, I think it's, hmm. I was trying to think, like, which animals get more up in your face? And definitely dogs by far. So that makes sense. I love, I'm a dog person myself. I don't know if you guys know, I have a dog. I had a cat for about two weeks, I'd say. And uh, we had to give her back because my mom was actually allergic, which kind of sucks. But uh, I've been at Carrot's house quite a bit, and she has two cats at the moment. So I, I know for myself I'm more of a dog person, but I do love cats, though. I love cats. They're so furry. They just, like, maybe it was Kara's, but, like, they're so careless, man. And that, they keep you up all night when they fight. It's just like, oh, God. Okay, half a stack left to go. It's like, oh, it feels so good knowing that we're basically, we're done with Lucky Blocks. Pretty much, I think, forever. Not, like, hmm. I don't know if forever, ever. Like, we're probably gonna do that one opening in the far future with, like, fully lucky. Like, fully 100% lucky blocks. I think that'll be cool. But, for right now, I think this'll do us for quite a good, uh, duration of time. 16 of them left. We gotta kill off these guys, though. Alright, come on. Let's just break them all. 15... 14, 13, imagine, let's get one more lucky villager. I don't even care if he gives a potion or not. Just one more lucky villager. One more. He's gonna get killed by the mantis, I think. Does he get killed by the mantis? I don't think they attack him. Come on. Oh, no. Oh, meat. Not bad. Six, five. I feel like I'm counting down for, like, a giant milestone or something. I guess it is a milestone. Four, three, two, one. And let's open the final one right here in the tree. And we have with our fists. That's a great way to finish it off. Well, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Crazy Craft. I know it was a, definitely a wild one. Pointless? No, most definitely not. The majority of it was, but we got those, uh, what is it? The lucky guys, the lucky villagers, four of them that we need to bring back into our area. So, uh, yeah, take care, and I guess I'll catch you all back next time. Ciao, guys. Oh, that's actually... Oh, dates, that's creepy.